Pressure is most commonly measured in process industries. How does a pressure transmitter work? Today we will cover all about pressure transmitter. Keep watching. Before we go to pressure transmitter you must understand pressure. Pressure is the force applied perpendicular to the surface of an object, per unit area, over which that force is distributed. We can simply calculate pressure P is equal to F divided by A. In this equation P stand for pressure, F stand for force and A stand for area. A pressure transmitter consists of electronics connected to a sensor. We can find transmitters with many types of sensors on the market, capacitive, piezoelectric, resonant silicon, and more. Here you can see the capacitive sensor diagram, as it is the most common, although that doesn't make it the best. So pressure applied to capacitive cells will produce a change in the capacitance of the sensor. This change will affect the oscillator frequency and the pressure transmitter will detect this change. Then the transmitter translates this data into a standard output signal that we can read. Here you can see a pressure transmitter connected in a pipeline, so the sensor part is contact to the process fluid or gas. When the pressure is generated in the pipeline, it will apply pressure to the transmitter also. So the sensor will detect the pressure using the sensor, and give the signal to the electronics part of the transmitter. This electronic module will calculate the pressure as per our predefined range and convert it to a readable signal and transmit to the control unit like PLC or DCS. Control unit will decode the signal and display it to the HMI, most commonly used 4 to 20 milliamp signal for transmitting. But nowadays also available Profibus and field bus transmitters. A pressure transmitter commonly measure three type of pressure. That is absolute pressure, gauge pressure and differential pressure. Gauge pressure measure the input pressure with reference to ambient atmospheric pressure. Gauge is used to measure pressure relative to ambient conditions, such as with cartier pressure. As the sensors are open to the atmosphere, they are susceptible to humidity. Absolute pressure measure the input pressure with reference to a vacuum chamber at zero bar. Specified where absolute pressure measurements are required. Egg barometric pressures. Differential pressure here the reference pressure is neither ambient nor internal to the sensor. The sensor is supplied with two ports, high and low inputs, and will measure the difference between the two generally used for filter measurement applications. Pressure is an important physical quantity in industries it should be maintained, controlled, monitored at specific readings so that's why pressure transmitters are so important in industries. So pressure transmitter need to be calibrated. This process will make sure the milliamps corresponding to the applied pressure. We can do the zero and span calibration using handheld and pressure calibrator. I would explain more about calibration in upcoming lessons. I hope you all understood about pressure transmitter. For more such lessons please keep on watching.